Hi everyone, no, no, no Thony, Thony Cry Tano, Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Wonder Years record, No Closer to Heaven. These guys are a Philly rock band combining elements of pop punk, alternative rock, and emo, also known as the Suburban Blues. And for years now, this band has been dropping albums loaded with anthemic melodies and just shouted passionate vocals. The band's music has a punk edge to it, but simultaneously it is triumphant and life affirming. I used to have a lot more interest in this style of music back in college. And, and not that I don't enjoy a lot of those old records, I still do. Uh, it's just that a lot of these newer groups have, have really failed to kind of keep my interest in emo and pop punk up. Although, uh, the Wonder Years aren't exactly a newer group, they've been doing it for quite a while now, about 10 years at this point. And with their latest records, they're definitely evolved beyond the somewhat melodic, hardcore influenced sound that you'll find on their earlier stuff. They have had many records and many years to sort of refine and groom what it is exactly that they're doing, and it definitely shows on this new album. I don't exactly care for the intro track on this on this record, but it does show uh, some really refined execution with a lot of guitar layers and big group vocals and just a huge drum build. Uh, it's like a post-rock-ish crescendo. Uh, Kind of cliche, but the song still transitions into an incredibly explosive and passionate opening track that really piqued my interest right at the start of the record. This track featured a really tight performance and vocals that were really loud, really in your face, but not whiny to the point where they're sort of uh, excruciating. The melodic guitar lines on this track were good. The tight vocal harmonies in the background underneath the lead vocals were good. I thought this track had a lot of good things going on for it. And then as we move on to the song, uh, a song for Patsy Cline, I'm not exactly sure why this song is for Patsy Cline. I think the reasoning behind the title might be a little esoteric because after numerous listens to this song and to the lyrics, I'm not exactly getting why this song is titled the way that it's titled. And, and I am kind of a Patsy Cline fan, so uh, I, I was intrigued by the title, but then uh, the song itself was just because when I do read into the lyrics on this track, I just kind of get the usual emotional rhetoric that you would get in an emo or a pop punk tune of this flavor. Uh, same sort of goes for the song for Ernest Hemingway as well on this record, though at least he's mentioned very boldly on that track. There are many mentions on this album of crooked teeth and stinging lungs and heartbeats and weeks passing by and all this time just slipping through our fingers and letting go. It's hard to watch you walk away. It's just like a lot of big emotional choruses on this record. Some of the choruses on this thing are actually kind of self-deprecating like on the track. I don't like who I was back then uh, where it is sung. Uh, if I could manage not to fuck this up. And if there is one more hook or sort of play on words that sticks out to me on this record, it's definitely the dead bird bloodhound metaphor uh, that, that I thought was pretty cutting. Uh, but aside from that, at this point on the album, as I'm listening, I'm just, realizing that this album really isn't going to bring anything new or refreshing to the table, is it? And that is exactly the case. I mean, The Wonder Years, I, I commend them for putting together as, as coherent and as slick a record as they have here. And the performances are, are good all around as well. But I feel like they fall into the stereotype and the cliche of, of many bands in this style these days where they're not so much advancing the sound, advancing the style, or trying to come up with their own distinct niche or direction within it, they're merely just keeping the torch burning just because. I think technically this record is is definitely there. I mean, the vocals carry a tune pretty well. Uh, the guitars carry uh, quite a bit of influence from like Weezer and Blink-182. Sometimes when the vocals are a little subdued and not, and not shouting, uh, they feel a little bare naked ladies-ish in a good way. But despite all their efforts, all the Wonder Years end up doing on this album is just merely working up to an emo and pop punk standard, not really doing anything beyond that. They're just kind of satisfying a blueprint. I don't even think this record does anything to bring a refreshing perspective on the real 
everyday struggles in life that these songs sort of seem to be centered around, whether it comes to relationships, both romantic and platonic, or existence and death. The Wonder Years just kind of handed in a really average take on these issues, as far as emo standards go, anyway. Which I guess in and of itself isn't really a hard pill to swallow, but it becomes one once I'm trying to listen through this entire record and every single song is trying to sound as emotional and dramatic as possible, but not even really giving me a reason to be emotional with the music. I guess maybe my issue is that I didn't go into this album upset or looking for something to be upset about or looking for... I don't know, some kind of justification of my feelings. I mean, I was just, you know, looking to be uh, kind of entertained, I guess. And unfortunately, this is really the only angle the Wonder Years seem to know how to work on this record, maybe with the exception of the uh, predictably acoustic closer. I'm just pretty indifferent to this record. I mean, I think it's well crafted, I think it's well put together, but again, I think all of it added up into just a really average record in this style of music. I'm feeling a light to decent five on this thing. Transition. Have you given this record a listen? If you have, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano. The Wonder Years. Forever.